Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the model interpretation, comparing the different ML models and identifying the best suited model for our example. We will then fit the test data in our ML model to predict the categories. So model interpretation is basically analyzing the predicted category of the emails here. We will compare and see the actual labeled category and the predicted category. So if you can see here, I have loaded all the pickle files which are required and we are going to use the KNN model which we built and the feature test to actually predict the categories. We are going to create a data frame with the body of the email, the actual predicted category and the actual category here. Then we are going to take the abstract of the misclassified data and analyze it. So if you can see here, there are 69 instances of the misclassified data. The misclassified data are the ones where the actual category and the predicted category do not match. Now this exercise actually helps to analyze the misclassified data and we can see if there is scope of improvement. Now we will see the model summary and choose the best ML model for our example. So I'm loading all the DF models which I have built in the previous videos. And then we are going to see the DF summary here. So if you can see here, KNN has a test accuracy of 0.89, which is actually 89%. NB, Naive Base has a test accuracy of 64% and SVM, 81%. Now sorting them according to the test set accuracy, you can see here, KNN tops the chart with 89%, then SVM, 81%, and then NB. If you can see here, I have loaded our KNN model, and then I'm going to fit the test data into our model to actually predict the categories. Now the test data, if you see here, one of the modifications which I did is adding the day, month, year, and date in the data frame. This was actually our use case because we have to analyze the data month-wise. So I wrote a parser which actually reads the body of the email and then fits the date and then I have used it to populate this data frame. Now I'm going to use this test data to predict the categories. Like if you see here, I have created one function called predict from features and then I have used the features to actually predict the categories. And these are the categories which are predicted for the test data. If you see the predict from features function, this is actually the same thing. I have used the KNN model which we had built before and then I'm going to predict the categories here. Now I'm going to add the category column in the data frame and save it as a pickle file so that I can use that later for visualization of the data. In the next video, we are going to use this data frame and visualize our data through graphs. I've also built an app to visualize the data through graphs. We will see that in the next video.